How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Ruffled Rail is here back with a brand new video guys. Today we've got some news and things to talk about, quite a few things actually. We've got one really major thing, we've got some new information about Pokemon Unite, and finally this is the thing I want to debunk. So basically, we got quite a few things to talk about that I thought we'd go through, but we're going to start first with the biggest thing here, the most massive news here, which are two trademarks that have been made. This was actually posted today by Poke Experto. Let's get started with that first, as I think it is major information. So here is what was posted by Poke Experto, the 22nd of September, so today for me, right? Uh, but this will be posted tomorrow due to time zones and all that. So, on September 7th, Nintendo Creatures and Game Freak re-registered the trademarks Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon Soul Silver. Now, this is massive. Now, some of you may not realize how massive this really is, but them re-trademarking Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver is really strange. Now, you may make the argument, well, they're just re-trademarking them, right? So, it doesn't really mean anything. They're re-registering them. Well, what's the point? Like, think about it this way, right? This is an old set of games that are not sold anymore. There is no reason for anybody to kind of reuse these names or trademarks in any sense of the word. Like, it just doesn't seem to make any sense for them to, you know, re-trademark it at this point. It just seems a little bit odd, doesn't it? Unless there is something pertaining to this that's going to be happening soon. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is because, guess what? Another thing was trademarked very recently as well, actually about a month ago or so, which was Entei. Yes, at the, you know, tail end of August, we know that there was, like, uh, some information about, seemingly, as far as I remember, right, there was some information about there being a trademark for Entei, or a re-trademark for Entei, which is one of the legendary Pokemon from Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and it's really a really important Pokemon for Johto as well. I mean, it's got a whole movie around it and all that stuff as well. It's a really important Pokemon for this generation, the second generation. Now... This can lead to, well, three options, right? So I'm going to go through the three options that this possibly could lead to. Number one, this is just a re-trademark and nothing else. Which, again, would be strange because I don't know why they would re-trademark it because they're not really going to reuse these names for anything. At least, you know, that's what it would mean if this is just a re-trademark. What's the purpose? Because uh, we haven't really seen any of the re-trademarkings on, like, Fire Red or Leaf Green or anything in recent times. And those are older, and technically, shouldn't those be re-trademarked now as well? And I haven't really seen it in the last few years. Any mentions of Fire Red, Leaf Green getting re-trademarked or, you know, any of the kind of older games. But these ones did, and it's really strange. So, option one, it doesn't mean anything. Option two... This could be a hint at something we talked about in a rumor yesterday, which is specifically the idea of, are we possibly going to get our hands on, like, a Pokemon collection, right? Of older games, like a virtual console type of deal, right? So, for example, look at the Super Mario, like, uh, 3D All-Stars collection. If you guys have seen that one that just released, that's a collection of three games from previous consoles, three really highly rated games. And guess what is a really highly really rated and probably one of the best Pokemon games, if not the best Pokemon game ever made? Well, Heart Gold Soul Silver, highly rated games that people really love and want to see return. So, is this possibly hinting at them releasing maybe sometime next year a Pokemon kind of like All Stars collection, but for Pokemon games? Possibly. So that's option number two. Option number three. Are they going to reuse the Heart Gold and Soul Silver names for maybe a Let's Go game? I mean, there has been rumors and talks about a Let's Go Pokemon game for like Johto happening. Is it possible they're going to do a Let's Go Johto, but not really call it Let's Go and just maybe do Pokemon Let's Go Heart Gold or Let's Go Soul Silver or just call them Heart Gold Soul Silver and just re literally reuse the names because they do carry a lot of weight and they are really, I mean, powerful games in terms of, you know, uh, carry power because people love them and they are genuinely the best Pokemon games, in my opinion, that have ever been created. So if I got to see that mentioned, like we're making Heart Gold Soul Silver again, but this time it's on the Switch. I would just be ecstatic. Even just for a re-release on the Switch, I'm excited for that because the, the thought of playing my favorite Pokemon game again, but on the Switch, is it's just mind-blowing. I love that. I know it's just a replaying of something I've already played, but doing it on Switch and then even possibly on my big screen, it sounds fantastic. So yeah, this is actually 
really huge, okay? This is massive in terms of what it could mean, or it could mean nothing. That's the problem with these, these trademarks. They can either be really big or really small. You never really know. That's the problem with them. So what do you guys think about this? Because there's been a lot of people have been suggesting a few different things. Uh, my strangest part is that they re-trademarked Entei and Heart Gold Soul Silver, and who knows what else is going to pop up in the coming, you know, months or weeks. So let me know in the comment section down below about this one, and let's move on to the next thing, which right now is going to be about Pokemon, uh, specifically you know Pokemon Unite. Now the first thing is that Game Freak has basically registered its trademark, a trade name or trademark name in China to Soundless Foreign and changing it now to Game Maniac over there. So in China they're known as Game Maniac for whatever reason. So yeah, Game Freak is Game Maniac now. It is what it is. So that's the first thing. Next up though, uh, as we're closing in, I guess soon to possibly the release of, you know, uh, Pokemon Unite. There's been drops of information. Uh, if you guys want to check out Poke Experto, I'm going to link it down below. They've kind of linked together everything here. Um, there's loads of information about a lot of the things here. We're going to go through that a little bit later, but right now, I want to go through everything that's been posted by Poke Experto alongside this. So, this is the home screen of Pokemon Unite's beta. As you can see right here, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is all in Chinese, of course. This is the Chinese beta, etc., because this is being made, again, by Tencent, a Chinese company. So, of course, that's the thing they're going to focus on, the Chinese market. Market. Makes sense. That's the home screen though. Next up though, is this right here. New Pokemon Unite images with more playable Pokemon. So you can see right here what we've got. We've got ourselves Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, uh, Pikachu, uh, Wigglytuff, um, Machamp, um, Slowbro, geez. Uh, we got uh, freaking... Uh, uh, Snorlax. Oh, I'm losing. I'm losing my mind. Uh, Lucario, uh, Greninja, Talonflame, um, as well as, 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 as I forgot his name now. What is with me, bro? It's really late. I'm really messing up things right now. Zerora. There we go. Just remembered it. All right. So Zerora. Yeah. So that's the Pokemon we see right there. Uh, I'm not really sure if we saw any more things there. Let's continue through the images. Uh, we can see as the evolutions will work right here. Because as you know, in this game, uh, if you compare this to an actual normal MOBA, uh, in normal MOBAs, uh, you basically level up your abilities. Uh, as you gain levels, you kind of give points to your different abilities that you have to get them to level up the abilities themselves and make them stronger and, you know, have more DPS or whatever it may be, right? Um, in this, you know, game, I guess it's going to be different where you're instead going to level, like, you know, as your Pokemon actually literally levels up, it's actually going to evolve, which makes sense to, you know, fit with the Pokemon theme. Uh, and then we got a picture, a picture of Pikachu with its abilities on the side here, you can see, as well as some details, as well as some sort of level bar down here, uh, I guess, to unlock, I don't know, some new ability. It's really strange. I'm I'm not really sure what that's going to be like. Uh, and here they show some, uh, you know, information about the abilities. Some unlocked version, which has nine hours. Is that like nine hours of gameplay, maybe? Or is it locked off in general? I don't know. I'd love to know what the hell that means, but it is what it is. They get on saying here, though, uh, that Pokemon Unite details. Roles, attack, support, stand, uh, standard, defender, and fast. So we got attackers. We got support. We got, uh, I guess, just normal characters. Uh, we got tanks, I guess, defenders. And fast, I would assume, assume is something like assassins within League of Legends. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and maybe standard, is that some form of maybe just like... I don't know, long-range Pokemon, something like that, I don't know, could be, could be not, I don't know, or maybe that's, like, your normal close range, and attack might be your long range, uh, next up, though, or, yeah, like, your mages, uh, evolution, uh, evolution level 5 and 7, attacks at level 1, 3, 5, and 7, short and long-range attacks, fair enough, legendary Pokemon can appear on the map, that's interesting, so, a little bit of information that's kind of intriguing right there, if I may say so myself. Next up, though, more information about Pokemon Unite. Pokemon can be beginner, medium, or advanced. When learning attacks, you may choose between two options. A, at level 5, each Pokemon learns a basic attack that replaces the initial one. Okay, objects with map effects, rare candy, and Zidra Berry. So, that's that. And then, of course, uh, I think we have the final part here, which is the first opinions of Pokemon Unite testers. People that have been testing it out and just generally that sort of stuff, which is that it is a fun and entertaining game at first, easy to learn. Uh, then it says here, lack of competitive challenge that easily leads to boredom. So, that's interesting. Uh, lack of competitive challenge that easily leads to boredom. That makes me really interested because uh, that's the thing that makes people play stuff like League of Legends for so long and other games, you know, is that, like competitive aspect. Let me tell you right now, I don't touch League of Legends unless I'm playing, you know, ranked. Now, there are some people who only play the game, you know, for fun and normals and that sort of stuff, but a lot of the things that keep people going and playing it more and more and more and over time is that competitive aspect by trying to get out of the lower ranks into the higher ranks or maintaining your rank instead, you know, etc, etc, etc. So they come back every season to continue doing that because the game does have a really high competitive skill ceiling 
and has a well a high competitive challenge, so to say, right? So that's why people keep coming back to it. Um, at least that's what I would say based on what I see from majority of people that are playing the game. I mean, of course, loads of people just play League of Legends, just normals. I know personally I don't, and a lot of people I play with don't. So I don't know. So this is really worrisome because that's the one thing I expected this game to do that it doesn't seem to be wanting to do. I mean, is there going to be a ranked mode? Because I'm telling you right now, if this game doesn't have a ranked mode, it's going to die really quickly. Uh, it's going to die down because I know I won't play it much if it doesn't have a ranked mode. Personally, I know I won't. And I know a lot of people that are like me and won't play it much if it doesn't have a ranked mode. So that's just what I'm trying to get to. Um, I mean, what do you guys think about this? Are you still excited or not excited? Do you still hate Unite? Are you still pissed off about it? Or has your mind changed? Um, if you were excited, are you not excited now? Or if you were excited, are you still excited? Uh, or if you were angry and now happy about it and now excited for it, then let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on it as it is a developing sort of story. Next up though, the final thing, which is a debunk. So this may be something that might pop up into your feeds. Uh, this person posted this on a 4chan saying, Leak Crown Tundra Meowth. This was hidden image in his script for the Japanese Pokemon Center online store. Uh, and apparently, no, this is fake. Uh, some people mentioned that this is basically just um, a fan-made thing. This is a fan-made design, which I feel like I've seen this fan-made Meowth somewhere. Uh, but somebody just made, like, their own, like, you know, little figurine version of it. Um, and, yeah, overall, though, this whole thing is not real. Just wanted to point that out before, like, you know... Uh you know, just kind of starts like going crazy and whatnot. Just want to mention it to, you know, bring it to your guys' attention, basically. So yeah, that's the end of the video though, guys. If you hope, you know, you did enjoy it and all that sort of stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this. What do you think about the hard gold, soul, silver trademarks? What do you think about Pokemon Unite and its future when it's going to drop and all that? Because I'm assuming it's going to drop sooner or later because, man, it's been a while. Uh, and also, what do you think about this Meowth and it being fake? Would you like it to be real? I mean, Meowth's already got enough attention. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen. Amen.